All right, so we are going to set up our domain. that we just bought with Google and use that in our personal Gmail account to send and receive email. So you can see here's the domain name that we just bought with Google. So you know, I had already come over here and added anything that gets sent to Ruben at Advanced Pipelining Tech Dot com under email forwarding to forward to the personal Gmail account anyways and what we want to do here is use this send mail as uh, so usually it doesn't work because you have to be able to accept the mail uh, in the other account but um, for this we you're supposed to have a login and everything but so this is kind of a little workaround for that so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our Gmail, log in, go to manage your Google account. Um, and then go to security. And the first thing we need to do is turn on less secure app access. You may have to sign in again. I've already signed in for this. So we're going to turn that on. And then the second thing, because what we're looking for is uh, under security is something called app passwords and it's not showing up. So what we're going to do is we have to turn on two step verification. Um, we have to enter the password again, which is this continue so we got that in there now we're going to enter the code that was sent turn on Say thank you, verified, and now that that is on, what we need to do is go back, and hopefully when we click security, we should click app passwords. Here it is right here. So now this is on, and this is the part that's the workaround. So when you click app password, holy crap. So what we're gonna try first is, cause this changes every now and then, but you keep playing with it. So we're gonna select a device other and enter the name of the domain. So I'm just going to copy it exactly as it is and paste because it has to be exact. So here is the app password and I'm just going to paste that over here just so I have it just in case. So once we have that app password, now we're going to go back in here and that is so that when we click add another email address, well, I don't know what's going on there, tech.com, next step. SMTP field do SMTP dot gmail dot com leaving this port at 587 and the username we're going to be entering the username that we're signed in with so that is going to be 
I believe it's this one. And then for the password, we're going to grab that one that we generated. This one oh, for here. And let's see, we want TLS. This may or may not work. Cool, it worked. That's actually the first time I've gotten that to go through on the first try, which is awesome. So what just happened is they sent an email and just, so here is this email that just came in and here is the confirmation code. As soon as we do this, we're going to verify and cool, that should work. Now, the thing that we want to do to set this up is for him, in this case, he wants it to always go to and from his custom domain name. So what we're going to do is, I just want to steal a signature real quick because let's go to accounts and right here when we send mail as we want to make this the default so that when he goes to compose a new message let's save that real quick whoops okay I guess it's already saved so this is default so if I go to compose a message here it is coming from Ruben if I want to switch back and forth go back from my personal Gmail, I can do that. But every new message that I compose is going to be that from my personal domain. Now this is a workaround to the Google Workspace. You don't get the calendar or anything like that. I mean, you can use this one, but uh, this is just so you can have an email address with your domain name um, pretty much for free. And the other thing that you want to select is when replying to a message, reply from the same address the message was sent to. So what that means is if I come over here and I send a message to from Mark to Ruben at advancedpipelinetech.com testing from Mark's Gmail send come on now send so he should be getting that in a second other thing I want to do is come over to general and just doing this for him uh, so you can see this as well though this is going to be in here signature create new signature name Ruben for advanced pipe tech and This is what people see. This is the link it's going to go to. And get rid of that. And I'm going to change this to So that one is the signature, and that one's called Ruben for Advanced. So I created the signature, and I want to use it for this one. For new emails, I turn it on. Replies, I turn it on, because it's always good for people to have your information. And make sure you hit Save Changes. So this is the email that I just sent him, and what we've effectively done is I sent it to Ruben at advancedpipelinetech.com. When he goes to reply, it's coming back from 
ruben at advancedpipelining.com to me. Hello, thanks. And if I click this, well, why didn't that work? Maybe I need to refresh. Should have his uh, signature in there. Not working, of course. Let's get rid of that, go back in here, settings. Why it's not working. There it is. I don't know why it didn't work, but anyways. So now signature's working, email's working, and when I send it back, it has his personal thing here, and it should work on his cell phone too. So that's all I wanted to show you, and I hope that you are able to use this. Let me know if you have any questions.